Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how to get XRP using Exmo, which is an altcoin exchange. So Exmo at Exmo.com, it's got some really neat features that I'm going to go through with you here. I'm going to show you how to buy XRP on this site using cash, there's a few steps to do it, and then I'm going to show you how to buy low, sell high. If you can automate this, buy low and sell high, you can grow your store of, uh, of altcoins. Um, XRP is the one that I like the most because right now it's absurdly low. I'm going to go ahead and sign in to Exmo and show you how to do this. If you find this tutorial useful though, I don't want you to go to Exmo.com and sign in there. I'd like you to use my affiliate link, which is down in the description below. The affiliate link is a simple way that Exmo can track at no cost to you that I sent you there. So it's a way for you to show your support of me making you this video and providing you this free content. And um, if you if you find this useful, it's a great way to just say thanks. Is go ahead and use the link in the description below. Uh, it's at stellarplatforms.com slash Exmo. So I wanna get some XRP because right now XRP is below 30 cents. And in five years from now, when I look back on this video and say, hey, I showed people how to buy XRP at less than 30 cents a piece, everybody is gonna feel like an idiot who didn't buy this while it was so low. Um, I can get into all the mechanics behind why XRP is gonna get big and why the price is artificially suppressed, but that's not what I'm gonna do during this tutorial. I'm just gonna show you how to get some, okay? Now, you can't do it from here because Exmo doesn't have a way for you to actually deposit USD and then make those purchases that I know of. I mean, maybe there's some way to do it. Um, let's just take a look at finance real quick. Going from the, the, um, the trade view, if I go into finance and I go to USD deposit, you got all sorts of verification to do. And I do remember doing trying this once. I set up an account with Pay Year. I tried using Skrill. Everything in here was just, was, was totally difficult. Um, and so if you're finding difficulties with this, but you do have a Coinbase account, then I'm gonna show you a few simple steps that I do in order to uh, put my money, my fiat currency into uh, XRP. Okay, so when I go into the trade view, I'm gonna look over here at XRP, and this is what I want, XRP USD. I wanna ch change my US dollars into XRP. And if for whatever reason, because you can't pass the verification, because you they don't have it in your country or whatever, if you can't get XRP from your fiat currency, then I'm gonna show you a way to do it. But you do need a fiat gateway. And the one that I use is Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase is expensive. It has a lot of fees. Right now, anybody who serves as a gateway for fiat currency is charging through the nose for it. And that's just something we have to deal with until there's an easier way to do it. So because I'm an American citizen, Coinbase is the easiest. And what I like to do is I like to buy Litecoin and ship it to the exchange. Now, if you need to get a Coinbase account set up, you can use my link in the description below, stellarplatforms.com slash Coinbase. At no cost to you, they'll give us each $10 worth of Bitcoin. So uh, that's a nice way to uh, say thank you and get a little bit of extra scratch on the side. So I'm gonna do Litecoin using a credit card because that's how I like to go. I'm gonna buy a hundred bucks worth of Litecoin at today's prices. It's gonna be 1.76 and I'm just gonna buy it instantly, all right? this will immediately be put into my wallet with a, um, a fee of nearly 4%. I've tested everything I can with my current infrastructure. This is as low as I can get the fees, is buying Litecoin in Coinbase and shipping it that way. If you try and send Bitcoin, it's expensive. There's a miner's fee. But as you'll see here, when I go into accounts in Coinbase, and then I go to send in my Litecoin wallet, and I wanna send the max, just boom, Click that, oh, I gotta put in my address first. So now I'm gonna go back to Exmo. And Exmo has a place in finance where I can get my deposit address. If you haven't shipped cryptocurrency before, it's uh, it does take some getting used to, but soon this is how currency is gonna be shipped in the near future. This is the only way it's gonna happen. They might be an easier way to do it, but for right now, this is the way that we do it. So I'm gonna look for LTC and deposit because I wanna deposit into this account. I'm just gonna copy this address go over here into Coinbase and paste it, boom, just like that. And I want to send the max. 
This is a really nice button, just send max, and it lets me send as much as I possibly can, and I hit continue. I don't have enough funds because it calculates, and I don't know why it does that, but it often does. So I'm gonna take it down a few cents, boom. And so now I have to get the confirmation code, all right? And then I get to start playing with Exmo. I just have to get some currency over there first. So now I'm checking my email. Well, it's my text, What it's, it's complicated. I'm living abroad right now. And so when I get a text message, I have to have it come to my email. Google Voice is your friend, gives you a free text message number that you can use anywhere in the world. And it's super simple and easy to use. I, uh, I'm just gonna stall while I'm waiting this, for this to come through. I set this up six years ago when I first moved abroad and I was living in Costa Rica and I had this, uh, I ported my cell phone number over into Google Voice. And having that Google Voice number has just, it has been so useful and helpful for me ever since. So that no matter what country I'm in, I can just go into my Gmail account and there is, there's all my voicemails transcribed for me. There's all my text messages. It's really nice. I, I like it a lot. Okay, so I've got something coming in. And this is an odd thing that Coinbase does is it gives a number of text messages all at once. I don't know if it's for chaff to you know try and distract people. It's super weird, but anyway, come on, open up. All right. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. It's a message that has six digits in it with seven digits in it. Can I pause this? I'm gonna pause this because oh never mind, here it is. 409 4187. Boom! Wrong one. See, you have to select it because Coinbase sends you so many different things. This is one of the things I like about Exmo. Exmo doesn't do this. Exmo doesn't send you multiple messages and then say, ha ha, you didn't pick the right the right one. Here we go. Let's try again. I'm gonna do six, three, four, five, six, six, eight. Boom, did I get it? Got it, okay, so the transaction's on the way. $95.90, I started with 100 bucks, and now I'm down to 95.90 in fees, and I'm gonna deposit 1.76 Litecoin. And so that's gonna be coming over here any minute now. If I go back to finance, I'll see my balance in all of these different coins, okay? I can, you also have this great drop down. This is something great about XMO. You could just hover right here and then scroll down to see what your balances are. I've got almost 200 XRP right here and I wanna build on that. All right, so I'm not going to the exchange. I'm going to finance and where is my Litecoin? Litecoin is super fast but it's not here yet. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for it. So to get ready to make this trade, I'm gonna go into not the exchange. I don't like doing it through here because I like to see the graphs. I like to see how things are moving. And also it's really handy to be able to surf through a bunch of different kinds of currency. And with Litecoin, they've got something right here. You can just click on it and see. I'm gonna go from Litecoin to Bitcoin to XRP. That's my plan. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do here in, uh, in Exmo. So there's two kinds of orders you can do here. There's a limit order where you specify the price and then there's an instant order just to buy it at whatever price it is right now. And that's usually the most recent price here. I see that we're kind of going downhill. So I could do some uh, guessing and try and get it right where I want it to be. But I find that that's usually more trouble than it's worth. So I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. I just want this Litecoin to land because when it does, I'm gonna sell my maximum amount of Litecoin with an instant order and then buy it with Bitcoin. While I'm waiting for the Litecoin transaction to go through, I'm gonna take a look at CoinMarketCap. This is the page that shows me everything about the Exmo exchange. CoinMarketCap.com is a, it's a really useful clearinghouse for a lot of cryptocurrency information. And you can look at um, any kind of, of, uh, of cryptocurrency. Um, they're all listed here. And so is every exchange. Every exchange is listed on here. And what I find really useful to look at is the volume. If you want to trade in rubles, in Bitcoin, Exmo is a great place for you because they have 25% of their volume happening in rubles in Bitcoin. This tells me that this is a preferred um, exchange for uh, crypto traders in Russia. 
There's also plenty from Bitcoin to USD, uh, Bitcoin to Euro, but this is, this is primarily a Bitcoin exchange. It's where people are buying and selling. And there's a way to buy low and sell high, and you can automate that with limit orders. And I'm gonna show you how to do that next. So XRP is not doing, it's less than 1% of the volume here. And so what that tells me is this isn't a great place to do XRP trading. Because if you're wanting to sell high and there's only $263,000 US of volume happening that day, the prices might not get to that point. But if you, and so if you wanna be doing any type of volume trading or arbitrage or anything like that, you wanna, you wanna be on an exchange where there's a high enough volume for what you're working on. And here there's just not a lot, not a whole lot of volume. So I, I do my uh, XRP day trading on a different exchange, but I find Exmo a good place to keep a few bucks because they have some coins that I can't get in other places. And I'll, I'll show you something real quick if my Litecoin hasn't landed yet. Let me see, have we gotten the Litecoin yet? Okay, it's not in yet. And so I'm gonna show you a cool trick I learned by watching a YouTuber. All right. Um, this changed the way that I used coin market cap and that I used um, altcoins. But and it actually introduced me to Exmos. When I started using this, I found Exmo because I needed an exchange where I could get a certain coin. So here we are in coin market cap, and I'm looking at the top hundred cryptocurrencies by market cap. Okay, and so these are the most popular ones up here at the top. If you sort by this filter, change, you can see what has gone up the highest today and what has gone down the lowest. What do we wanna do? We wanna buy low and sell high. And so I often, like once a day, I come into CoinMarketCap and I look not just on this page, but this one is the really critical one, the next 100. So this is the 100 to 200 top cryptocurrencies by market cap. Some of them are really small. They do 600,000 in volume throughout the whole day, but some of them have $63 million in volume, okay? And so you wanna look at the volume and the circulating supply, but what I like to do is sort by the change. Man, if I had bought some of this yesterday, imagine how happy I would be today. So what I like to do is I go in here and I see, okay, do I have any of these green ones? Because if I do, I'm gonna sell them right now, get them back into the base currency. It's usually Bitcoin. I'm hoping in the future the ba base currency is XRP. But if, um, if, I see, if I hold anything that's this high in green, I take out uh, my profits. Also, if I'm looking to buy a new coin because I have some Bitcoin that I wanna convert into something else and see if I could do some day trading, I look at what's in the red. Because if this has gone too far low, the chances of it raising tomorrow are much higher. So when you're ready to go shopping, I recommend coming to CoinMarketCap, looking at page two, sorting by change, and these are the most likely ones that I'm gonna take a look at. And if you wanna do some research, you can click on it on an individual coin and see, okay, well, what how, what's the history of this? And most importantly, what exchanges are it listed on? Because sometimes they might ha the, uh, a small coin might not be on your exchange. And so you can look and see, oh, this is on Crypt Cryptopia. Do I have an account on Cryptopia? If I want this coin, maybe I should go set one up. And that's how I first found Exmo. There was a coin, I don't remember what it was, but um, <laughs> look at that, that's my Google voice number calling me from somewhere in the United States. I'm just gonna let that ring while I look to see if my Litecoin is ready. Look at that, it landed, 1.763 Litecoin. Okay, so instead of doing, and look at that, it bounced back up. Okay, so instead of doing a limit order and trying to guess the price, I'm just gonna do an instant order. And I'm gonna sell the exact amount that's up here, 1.763. Isn't this great? I could just keep this hover open and do my typing because my cursor's in the right place. Makes it really handy. Okay, so I'm gonna sell all of my Litecoin into Bitcoin, all right? Boom, sell it. Does an instant order. You get that ding when it goes through, and now I know I'm ready to go to XRP. So I'm gonna click this XRP tab. By the way, you can favorite um, any of, uh, oh, I have everything favorited, it looks like. Um, but you can favorite things so that you can look at your favorite and have a filtered list here of just the currencies you're tracking. Super handy feature. Okay, so now I'm looking at XRP slash BTC, and I want to buy it all. I'm going to spend all of my Bitcoin by XRP, 
and I'm going to get this on here and hover and then do 0.01. Oh, look at this. I'm making a mistake. 4.96488. I'm just going to copy that because this is actually the amount of the XRP. If I try and buy this, it's like, haha, huh, you can't do that because that's a fraction of an XRP. What I want to do is buy with a fraction of a Bitcoin. So this is something cool about, um, about uh, Exmo is that you can buy in the currency that you're buying or you can buy in the currency that you're trading, which is super handy sometimes. Okay, so this is going to get me 347 XRP at 30 cents. Do you believe this? Man. So there's predictions that XRP could be $10 by the end of 2018, could be $1,000 by the end of next year. And if that's what happens, then this little trade that I'm doing with a hundred bucks, I mean, psh, this could this could buy a house, this hundred dollar trade that I'm doing right now. So if you're watching this video and it's still around 30 cents, you should go buy some XRP and use my link below to buy it on Exmo. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. And now I'm gonna show you the other thing that I wanted to show you, okay? I'm gonna show you how to buy low and sell high. Right now, and isn't this great? It tells me what my value is in USD. So I know I've got 150 bucks over here. In XRP, I've got 546. Now I bought this, let's do my trades in USD, all right? Now I've got, I bought this at under 28 cents. So if I wanna make 10% profit, I'm gonna sell this at 31 cents, okay? So instead of doing an instant order, I'm gonna do a limit order and I'm gonna name my price 31 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and do 200 XRP at 31 cents. Now, when I put this in, this order is going to sit there and it's going to park and it'll wait until XRP crosses that threshold. And when it goes above 31 cents, boom, my order is going to execute. After that happens, I can come back in here and say, hey, I want to buy XRP at 28 cents and I'm going to buy 200. And so then when the market goes down, boom, I automatically do that. So if I set buy low and sell high with a 10% difference, even after the fees, I'm going to be making 8% a cycle. And that's going to grow my, uh, my, uh, in my crypto pool. Now, the only way this doesn't work is if the price doesn't go in the direction that you think. You know, let's say XRP starts to go up and it passes 31 cents and then it goes to three bucks and then it goes to 50 bucks. And I have all of my cash in dollars. I'm going to miss that growth. And so you do need to do some, I mean, this is risk, you know, you're going to see how, how much risk you can tolerate, but if you can tolerate some risk and make a few mistakes, then sometimes in that up and down, you can profit off the volatility by growing your store. And so if I did this well, then my pool right now of, um, I've got 346 available and 200 in orders. So almost 550 XRP. If I did this well, and let's say I grew it like that over a month and where every day I had a successful trade, then I would double how many XRP that I have uh, over the next month. And so th that's some of my, uh, my crypto tips, uh, how I do some, uh, some day trading and how I use Exmo. If you found this useful, please use one of my affiliate links in the description below. For the next episode of Kaylin Shows You How to Do Something Complicated with Cryptocurrency, be sure and click subscribe. See you later.